everyone welcome back to my channel where it's all about DIYs, self-care and fashion and in this video we're gonna do more of a self-care haul with Ulta Beauty. I actually purchased this stuff on Black Friday and it's finally here and I'm gonna show you what I bought. So let's get into the video. The Milani Cream Blush so this is blushing bear. So I love this blush right here just because it's very, very pigmented and it shows on melanin skin. Um, that's my biggest problem is finding a blush that shows on my skin. And it's a cream blush that means it's more like a balm than a powder. So I love the fact that it shows on my face. You see a little red radiant around my cheeks area. So it's just like the pixie. Um, blush that has the same pigment. I heard that works on melanin skin as well. It's just super hard finding blushes that work for my skin. So you honestly want to find something that is like a high pink. Um, I heard also purple like pigments also work well with melanin skin too. So that's something to look at. So um, if you're looking for a blush that's really good for your skin tone or melanin skin i would say this is good to go secondly let's get on to this three wick candle by ulta beauty and it is cashmere kinsei um it's a scented soy blend candle it smells really good and i like the fact it's three wick i don't know if you can see it but the fragrance notes are you know, sparkling citrus cashmere kinsei and vanilla chiffon so I can pretty much smell notes in here, so I do smell the vanilla, the citrus, and the cashmere is pretty, pretty strong. I want to say a cashmere is like a sister of amber, I want to say. Um, they don't smell alike, but they have almost the same scent in my head. But I love candles just because I feel like it's very therapeutic when it comes to aromatherapy. You can put these candles either on your coffee table, by your tub, while you're taking a shower, uh, anything. If you just want that a, ther a therapeutic like mood, I feel like these set the mood. I actually have a soy candle from Jackie by Forever Mood and it's Gingerbread Trap House and I'm in love. So um, soy candles are definitely changing the game. And yeah, I know. I know. And also, I want to say that I love smelling things. I just love smelling things. Ever since I can remember, I just smelled every candle I could. I smelled everything. Just, I love to smell things. That's like my favorite sense, other than seeing. Because if you can't see, I don't know what you're doing. And touching, I don't know. Smelling is one of my favorites. You can have more than one favorite. So let me start by saying this smells like berries. So this is called That's My Jam from Too Faced. And I always want to buy their eyeshadow palette, even though I don't really do eyeshadow like that. But I'm trying to learn. I'm honestly trying to pick up some eyeshadow tutorials. So I did a makeup Shayla eyeshadow tutorial. Um, I'm going to say one of these days, one of these weeks, I'm gonna, I forgot. This, I noticed that Too Faced always have something that smells. Like their chocolate um, eyeshadow smells like chocolate, of course. Their pumpkin spice smell like pumpkin spice. Like they know. They just know I love to smell. Like I love to smell. Them. And it does smell like berries, but it's not like overly scented. It's just like a little, little dash of scent. And, um... The pigments on here is just amazing. Honestly, I wanted to know like what does it look like on my skin. Um, I feel like once you get a primer, it should show a lot more. And that's something I'm going to have to look up a good primer for eyeshadows. Just because, you know, when it comes to, again, melanin skin, it's really hard to find something that's just going to pop out on your skin. I love Too Faced just because I feel like they're very, very creative when it comes to uh, eyeshadow palettes. And I know they have bigger ones than this. In the future, I do want to get a bigger eyeshadow palette. So, hmm. so I have this really cute um, sugar cookie um, hand lotion. And it all comes with like, uh, I want to say it's like a matching set in a way. So I have the lip balm. And the bubble bath and the nail scrub. And the best things about these are that they come in a collection and 
they all the same scents, the same company. So guess what? You can do like a cute little baggy paper bag or plastic and just hand them off as a cute little like secret Santa because you know that's a thing in jobs. Or you can do like a cute little giveaway with your kids whether as a stocking stuffer or like a little gift. But it is really cool. So this is really cute to have as like a little thing you can carry in your purse too and it's just honestly for the winter and you know whenever your hand is just too dry you can just you know rub this on there and it just has a vanilla scent it really don't have like a sugar cookie like type of smell to it and then the bubble bath you know you can just use that as like you know in your tub me i finally just got my tub in my bathroom I, my last apartment i lived in i did not have a tub i just had a stand-up shower so i am very excited to use this like i am um i got a lip balm and it's just a regular lip balm i love lip balms just because i feel like it helps with the um coating of your lip especially in the winter time when it's very cold and your lip get chapped um, and it's really cute for kids. Like if you have little daughters or like nieces, you can just give them to this for give them this for um, Christmas. Um, it don't really have a strong smell, very you know thing, and no glitter. Cause I don't know how people feel with glitter and kids and stuff like that. But me, I really don't care. Like kids are gonna be kids, girls gonna be girls. And um, this is a nail scrub, nail brush, and you know you're probably like, why you have a nail brush? And I feel like nail hygiene is like very important, especially with, you know, illnesses that goes around and, you know, when you have fake nails, it's very, very easy to get things underneath there. And honestly, I start thinking about this when I start having kids, like, um, you want to just take care of your nails because, you know, you can transmit staph disease and stuff like that. And just a lot but I feel like especially when you have nails so I don't really do nails no more like the acrylics I do more press on nails and the way I do it it just lasts as long just like acrylics and it's a lot cheaper but I still need to clean underneath my nails and probably like Germany how it works honestly it's the way you put on your press on nails you still can get water on them get yourself a nail brush it will do wonder and save you from so much um, germs I promise so that's the end of my video and I hope you enjoyed it I actually deleted my whole um, card and I am in tears and I am in shambles at this point but I gotta do what I gotta do so this is me making this video the second time and I hope you enjoyed it um, I literally deleted everything and I think it's when I formatted my memory card and it just deleted everything. So now I gotta record my video that I made yesterday, but you know what? It comes with the life and, um, we all make mistakes and, uh, you know, you just gotta roll with the punches. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye.